Dolly. And a very good morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Colombo. And this morning we've got with us a member of that, that Parliamentary Select Committee. He's also the mem uh, member from the JVP. Um, and he's right here with us, Dr. Nalinda Jatis. A very good morning to you, Doctor. Good morning, Faras. Uh, thank you very much for coming here. Um, <sighs> tomorrow is Parliamentary Select Committee again. Yes, yes. And I uh, understand from the press you are uh, at uh, the Army Commanders there tomorrow. Will this be held in camera? Uh, yes, I mean, uh, part of that uh, we plan to do it in camera, hmm. but uh, we don't have much more questions to ask from the Army Commander. Right. Uh, specific questions, so we have informed him yeah. in which uh, issues we are going to ask him. Oh, okay. Uh, Is that normal? Is that a good idea to tell him what you're going to ask him? No, no. Uh, basically, uh, for the government officers, yeah. we uh, pri prior to the uh, the committee, mm. I mean, for the summoning, uh, we will do it as a habit. You 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 to, mean you uh, to, to to support because otherwise uh, they can't uh, take the necessary documents, ah, and the, okay. the evidence. So so you give them a subject heading. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, you don't actually give him the actual answer, uh, the question. No, 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 not, not questions. So it's not like what the Prime Minister did at the Presidential Commission of Inquiry? <laughs> not like that. Right. But uh, we, we have to ease them, otherwise uh, there's very vast the subject. Okay. Uh, that, that, uh, we can accept that. Yeah. Um, now then, as far as these security, like, you know, you, you're saying that the Army Commander will come and then some of the, st uh, some aspects may well be kept uh, in camera, yeah. we were held in camera. Do you all feel at this, even though it's happened and it's now in the past, do you feel that perhaps you all could have done the same for some of the previous security defense matters that you raised with various other officials in the past? Uh, so far, we have summoned uh, a security officer of officials. Uh, the de defense secretary, former defense secretary, yeah. IGP. Yeah, but those were not yeah. held. My point is, those yes. were not held in camera. They were held for everyone to hear. And no part of uh, questioning of uh, IGP, mm. we held we held uh, in camera. Right. And uh, defense secretary, well, former defense secretary, Mr. Hemant Fernando. Yeah. He uh, answered our questions in camera. Right. So uh, that uh, will decide by the committee. Right. And I also want to ask you, do you, does the select committee have the powers or the remit to investigate how true or false those answers given by anybody are? Uh, yes. If we feel that uh, the answers are incorrect, yeah. Uh, we have to inquire. We we will inquire more. So who 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 does that inquiry for you? Let's say that uh, uh, you know, uh, Mr. X yeah. said A B C. Mm. How do you check that what Mr. X said A B C is actually correct? And uh, if it's true, let me say that uh, once uh, Mr. Asad Sali. Yeah. He said there are there were 120 uh, houses in eastern province yeah. burned by one, uh, one incident. Yeah. But after that, uh, we inquired in from the security officials as well as the the civil organisations of uh, eastern province. Right. So it was uh, totally false. So what did you do then? What does he? No. Now we are discussing, right. and uh, we have to summon and we have to take actions against uh, him. Uh, to uh, because he made a, made an oath before the committee, right. uh, so that breached the privileges of the par parliament. And and you know about this um, campus in the east, in the Batiklo, that that whatever that campus yeah. is. Yeah. Um, I know people have explained that the money has come in and so on, mm -hmm. but how accurate? 
is the source, they, they disclose the source of the funding, where it came from. What steps have you all taken to check the accuracy, the integrity, the veracity of that statement? Because it's obviously very important. In addition to member of uh, the select committee to look into that uh, 21st attack, yeah. I'm a member of uh, the uh, oversight committee of the education, higher education. Right. We took uh, that matter for last uh, three months right. and uh, we have submitted a report to the parliament. Right. And uh, we summoned uh, the Bank of Ceylon, branch of Kolapiti and Katankudi as well as the uh, of officers of Central Bank yeah. recently. So uh, we have a certain idea about that uh, campus and... Uh, yes, I, I think uh, with, all, with all due respect, and, what yes. I'm saying, Doctor, yeah. is I'm not saying that the money didn't come through the banking system. Mm -mm. That's not what uh, my question. My question is the source. Where did this yeah. come from? Yeah, yeah. For, furthermore, furthermore, on Friday, uh, we summoned uh, the BOC and the Central Bank to the Select Committee. Yeah. So uh, we are continuing the inquiry, the funding source, as uh, well as the channel yeah. that comes to the uh, country. So uh, have you all contacted the source? You, you all have got the details now already. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, we have informed to the embassy of uh, Saudi Arabia in Sri Lanka. Right. Because uh, we have to clarify first that it is the, uh, the funding source is a government or the uh, the uh, either civil society or the persons. Yeah. Uh, but surely, if it was the government of Saudi Arabia, yeah. surely, at some ceremony, uh, the Saudi Arabian representative in this country, the accredited representative, surely he would have been there. In, at in, some yeah, groundbreaking yeah. ceremony, something. They, they don't miss these uh, sort of appointments. In, uh, I got to know that uh, the speaker was informed by the embassy of Saudi Arabia yeah. that it's not the Saudi Arabian government, yeah. the informal, right. but uh, we need it in uh, official way. Right. So, so they've so far informally confirmed that it yeah. was not the government, the of government of Saudi Arabia, but some, something else. But anyway, uh, we don't have provisions to summon uh, the ambassador or the officials of uh, Saudi Arabia. Yes, I know, but but you can appoint. Uh, no, no, we can. But we are we are we are we are thinking to uh, summon the uh, the the relevant officers of the foreign ministry. And if I remember rightly, uh, the FCID chief uh, travelled all over the place, including members of the AG's department. Yeah traveled all over the place, to Hong Kong, to Singapore several times, uh, to the UAE many times, uh, to the United States, to the England, in uh, pursuance of various uh, inquiries. Um, so I don't see that level of intensity when it comes to this. Uh, yes, the, the select committee as well as the oversight committee, I mean, we, we, we don't have uh, space to go for deep investigations. But you can ask the yes, yes, yes. FCID and, uh, and so and, on. And in the report we submitted to the parliament from uh, the Oversight Committee of Education, we have recommended that we need a forensic audit for this matter. Right. Well, um, as you know, on Newsline and on Newsline Prime in the evenings, we do encourage you to send us your questions by SMS 0772 305 some questions have already been sent and I will get to them shortly um, now then uh, here you go here's one question here two questions the first is Ralph Hakim is still a part of the committee if so what has he contributed Two. when will the general public uh, come to know the outcome of your findings I think the first yeah, question yes, is yes, very relevant. Yes, yeah. uh, this is, we are, we are inquiring about Islamic terrorist attack. Yeah. So it is, uh, I mean, it's uh, uh, just that... Uh, are you questioning we, Mr. Hakim because he's a Muslim member of parliament? No, no, I, I mean, we need a, a Muslim representation to the committee okay. anyway. 
So uh, that's why we, we uh, try to ensure this, the Tamil and Muslim community representation uh, in the select committee. Yeah. Anyway, if it's not Mr. Hakim, uh, whoever the Muslim parliamentarian or the minister. Okay, so you can't get away from the question. Whoever it is, we're yes. gonna, we will ask you the same question. Yes. Okay, right. But it's it's depend on the the party. I mean, the UNF nominated nominated him. You know, I want to ask you this thing because I, I keep getting asked this all the time, and I'm a little bit tired of people asking me the same question. It's almost as though I'm a member of the JVP and I'm trying to cover up for you. But the question they're always asking is this. Uh, Spice Ibrahim, mm. the person, the, the father of the two uh, bombers, yes. was actually a national list nominee from the JVP. Mm. So is the JVP being completely open about their involvement in this? Did you, uh, Mr. Ibrahim is supposed to be a very rich man. Mm. Uh, or certainly, one from what we see, he appears to be rich, okay? Now, and he's been a successful spice trader, uh, which pr apparently makes more money than any other thing in the country. So, how much money did he give your party? <laughs> he didn't give uh, money to the party. He can but... Malik Samaravikrama <laughs> said, Tamba Satyak Paduna me ratata, like that. Are you saying Tamba Satyak Dunina? Yes. Ibrahim Ajar me JVP. He never contributed to uh, financial to the party. Right. What did but, he contribute? But we, we, we uh, know him well since the uh, last 10 years as a uh, well known businessman uh, mm. and uh, he's, he's, he received uh, national and international rewards in spice industry mm. and he, he was the federa he was the chairman of uh, the, the spice importers federation yeah we invited him to our national list in july 2015 right at that time we didn't have any information about uh, this tawhid jamaat or this uh, is that, terrorist is that activities a, yes i know is that a little bit um, of a mistake on your part because surely uh, before you put people on national list, and it, it, you no. know, it can be so important. No, I don't think because after that, yeah. in 2016, yeah. he received uh, the award from uh, the government, Sri Lankan government, yeah. as the best exporter in 2015 and 16. Right. So he was well recognized. Right. Even uh, before he arrested, before he was arrested. Either intelligence or the police or any uh, security officers, I think they didn't know anything about him. Uh, mm. So, how the political party mm. knows everything about him? So, we put him in July 2015. Mm. So, that is just, uh, I mean, uh, most of the people who blamed us, they recognized uh, we had a very good intelligence unit. Can up I? to 2015 January. Okay. So even even that uh, intelligence didn't recognize him as a terrorist or the supporter of a terrorist group. Now, uh, th th thank you for clarifying that. But I want to ask you this question. Lots of people, again, it's on their mind. Now you have this parliamentary select committee, and now we find out that Parliament has a U.S.-funded consultant. Prasad Kariwas. Mm. There may be others as well. I don't know because we haven't been told. So, is it fair to say that Mr. Kariwasam, in his role as consultant to Parliament, is perhaps feeding the committee with some questions to ask? Is Mr. there any involvement at all yeah. from Mr. Kariwasam in this committee? Mr. Karyosam is a consultant to the speak of the parliament, not to the parliament. He didn't involve any matter in the select committee right. or either uh, the oversight committees or the consultative committees I have represented. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, the, the, all the consultations he has given so far to the speaker, not to the, uh, the parliament committees. Mm. So, uh, even I didn't meet him in parliament. And I, I suppose the speaker is so uh, so independent that he wouldn't have shared 
any consultations he had with Mr. Kariwas and with even perhaps members of the UNP parliamentary group. But in our in, in our select committee, yeah. the speaker doesn't have any role right. either accepting the, the nominations what party has given. Now I want to ask you yet another question. This is all to do with your select committee. Mm -hmm. Most of Sri Lanka can understand the presence of uh, Sarat Fonseca mm -hmm. on the committee mm -hmm. because he, he's a man with a military background. What, what is the qualification of the others, including you, to be on the committee to ask these questions of grave national import? Yes. Parliament Select Committee should consist of the Parliament members. Right. This is the basic qualification right. being member of uh, okay. the, the members. Right. So we, I think, uh, we can't find uh, the parliament members who are having the military or security background as uh, Sarat Fonseca. He's the one and only field marshal in the country. Okay. Anyway. But that's the, largely ceremonial. Yes, sir. But when we inquire the health matters in yeah. COP or COPA, yeah. They, 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 there is no uh, but you are persons, a yes, with uh, medical background or the health uh, qualifications. Hmm. But as parliamentarians, they are inquiring so the in separate ways, in, in separate channels and separate ways. So I think in everywhere, the parliament select committees are consist of uh, no. the, the the different parliamentarians with different uh, background. Yeah, um, there, there are several questions. This program is obviously being well received. Um, uh, Islamic, so-called Islamic yeah. terrorist attack, do you think it could have been a front? A front to cause chaos in this country, mm -hmm. to cause a perceived need to have foreign powers to help us with our security? when these foreign powers were nowhere to be seen when we were fighting a war against terror? Mm. I don't, no, I don't think our... Uh, and also, yeah. the IS yes. took several days to, uh, to accept or to yeah, make yeah. a statement that it was them. How come? They normally don't do this. If you look at all their other claims, it happened on the day. This uh, Islamic... Uh, group influenced by the international terrorist extremist uh, movement. Yeah. That's true. But we don't know how far they assisted financially or technically or whatever me method to this, that group. Anyway, that is uh, that, that that depends on uh, the, the inquiries by yeah. CID and TID and the military intelligence. Anyway, what we have observed, uh, there's, a, uh, there's an environment to create such a group in the country. Right. From one side, in, it's in the Muslim community as well. The serious lapses in the security system in the country for last uh, at least four to five years. Now, uh, uh, the... Uh, you mean uh, since 2015? Is that what you're that, saying? That, uh, not exactly 2015. It may, it may from, it may arise from uh, end of 2013 or uh, start of uh, the beginning of 2014. Hmm. Because the, the information about these uh, extremist ideologies hmm received by the intelligence of Sri Lanka from 2013-14 uh, period. Yeah. So it's a collection of that. But, but, uh, but do you see where I'm getting at? What is your stand? Are you comfortable with uh, allowing American troops into our country, uh, no. up, down and sideways, yes. with the diplomatic immunity? Yeah, yeah. I don't think uh, that to, to, to settle that, to uh, solve that problem, yeah. we don't need any uh, international or foreign uh, military assistance. But our speaker moment. obviously thinks differently because he's got himself a foreign funded mm. 
consultant. You can have his, uh, I spoke to a former I speaker, I spoke to a former deputy speaker, they're all saying the same thing. You can have as many consultants as you want, but it, the parliament, the government of Sri Lanka must pay. I know that uh, now this government uh, extended the AXA agreement in 2017. Initially, the 2007, uh, the AXA agreement was signed by uh, Mr. Robert Blake and the Gotabi Rajapaksha. Yeah. And uh, the uh, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe extended see, in 2017. Yeah. And now they are trying to uh, but form... But eight, eight pages or something like yeah, yeah, that, ten right, pages right. became 83. But, but it started in 2007. Anyway, actually now... started uh, under uh, Mrs. Chandrika Kumar Tunga. Yes, there are several, there were several military uh, agreements and accords uh, between US and uh, Sri Lanka. Mm. But now the government is trying to uh, sign that SOFA agreement. Mm. I, we, we think that it's more serious than uh, previous uh, agreements. Mm. Anyway, I know that uh, Mr. Prasad Kariwasam, mm. who involved in that series mm. to sign that uh, SOFA agreement, is uh, the influential person behind this So he is an influencer. Yeah. Now I want to say to you about our dear Prime Minister. Back to him. Yes, yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, the Prime Minister says, I think it was yesterday, that all these fellows in, involved in this uh, attack on Easter, all these extremists, all under lock and key. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the same man who said, well, he told the Cardinal, he said, listen, we had the information, I couldn't do anything about it because law and order is not with me. He told the BBC that. He told CNN that, he told Channel 4, he told everyone who bothered asking him the same thing. And he said, what can we do? He said the security wasn't with him. But now, he, nothing has changed. His portfolio, nothing has changed. But now he say he seems qualified now to say that all these people have been arrested. So what credibility have we got uh, has he got for me to believe him? It is not uh, simple uh, like that. I mean, uh, this extremist ideologist continued for last seven to eight years. And uh, there are a thousands of followers of Saharan that have trained in several uh, camps, training centers. So we have to inquire in deep. Otherwise, uh, we... But I mean, the Prime Minister is just making a statement. He's, he's saying, how, how can I believe no, him? I think, I, um, my, my, in my view, he can't uh, make such type of uh, statements because once he was the uh, Minister of Police, or Minister of uh, Law and Order, he didn't do anything to arrest these... Uh, uh, the, yeah. the, 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 the person who accused now. Uh, uh, this, uh, the, this question about um, the consultant to parliament isn't going away. There's many questions about that. One of them is saying, what about this is a scenario, which is just an assumption, okay? Can the Maharajas pay for a secretary, let's say a secretary, working in the prime minister's office? What would you say if you found out that um, I don't know, the secretary, Mr. X or Miss X, mm -hmm. was being paid by the mm -hmm. Maharajas. What would you say? Mm. It's not acceptable, is it? Yes. Right, it's not acceptable. Yeah. So it's the same point we're trying to make about uh, the speaker. I do hope that... Uh, being in Parliament is a huge responsibility. Forget the honour and all that business, but it, it is a huge responsibility. And I think you need to be able to call a spade a spade and tell Mr. Karujaya Surya that he is quite easily the most partisan speaker ever since we've had parliaments in no, this I, country. I think before, before appointing uh, consultants to the speaker, he should have uh, consult to the at least... Uh, what about the House Committee? House Committee, yes, and uh, the, the part leaders. Uh, but he didn't do that. That's a problem. And uh, he, the, 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 that person, is uh, having allegations involving uh, uh, 
to form agreements between USA and Sri Lanka. Now, now you're going to invite or request the Prime Minister to come and the President to come before the Select Committee. Yeah, we are going Can to Can ministers summon... come before? I thought these committees were only for public officials. Not... No, 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 no. no. Uh, Mr. Rishad Badruddin will come tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, we, we plan to summon uh, the ministers who were, who were responsible in the past for the law and order ministry, mm. Sagar Ratnayaka, Madhu Bandar, as well as the Prime Minister, and then uh, the state, uh, the Mr. Vanujewardhan as mm. the State Minister of Defence, mm. as well uh, President, President, not as the President, but he is the Minister of Defence and the law and order. Mm. So, uh, depend on the uh, evidences, we have to ask some, so some how questions. So, how about come it? the Prime Minister was involved before COP during the bond things? That's, uh, I mean, it's a separate matter. No, but what is the same theory? The uh, COP is also a committee, this is also a committee. If, if the COP member of, uh, members of COP decided at that time, but he, the Prime Minister is on record, he said, I want to go and give evidence before COP. Yes. He I, said anyway, that. anyway, uh, at that time, the members of COP didn't decide to uh, question him. And, then the the spe and the Speaker says that there are several others in Parliament, members, who have also benefited by this foreign money, oh. trips abroad and consultancies. So have you benefited? No. Sure. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very sure. <laughs> um, but don't you agree that the people think that this is all a big, big joke, a big farce, and that nothing really is happening? Everybody's just doing what they want to. Uh, big man one and two are both fighting with each other. The two uh, uh, marriage made in hell, and the people are now finding that thanks to all of this. A, the defense establishment has been completely ignored. The the, uh, the security situation. And they have gambled away the nearly 10 years of so-called peace that we had in this country. So we've gone back about 30 years. Not only that, but whilst they're doing all that, some chappy is signing a little agreement in which we'll have foreign troops on our con in our country. Anyway, as a member of the select committee, we, we, we want to establish the, uh, the good security system yeah. without any lapses in the country. We want to ensure the security of the people, mm. not only the VI, VIP and VVIPs. Yeah. That's why we are inquiring uh, two, in two, two channels. One, how to, uh, how to uh, uh, deal with uh, the radicalization of these such communities. And the other thing, how to uh, maintain a good security system in the country, in political wise as well as the uh, security system wise. From Kurunagala, I have a message. It's asking you yeah. this question. Isn't this all, this select committee, isn't it all a teledrama? Because after you asked uh, all these questions, there are some images that are circulating in social media. You're all holding hands and smiling and taking photographs with all sorts of people. It's not me. Right, okay, but the others. It just sounds as though this is just, you're just doing it for the sake of doing it. No. I I, I, I saw that uh, photograph yeah. that uh, with his bullah, there are uh, the Mr. Avikarona and others, uh, they, they sh have shake handed. Yeah. Anyway, I think uh, for, the, uh, for the proceedings of select committee, yeah. it should not happen, yeah. at least inside the parliamentary premises, hmm? at least. Because I, I, I know that they have a lot of uh, relations, yeah. the political relations. Anyway, the pa th this is uh, a challenge as well as uh, its new tradition to the parliament. Uh, in, the, in the questioning, we believe that uh, all the things, all the issues, people should know. That's why... But it appears yeah. to the public, it appears to the public that all of these people, you included, your committee, everybody, are just covering up for each other. The only thing that you all seem to want to do is to try and discuss the president's role in all of this. No, no. That's the only no, thing no. that you're I like asked all the, I, I, I asked the citizens of Sri Lanka to follow the whole proceedings of the committee, not 
not telecast by the uh, by the TV channels in the news. Right. That's selected. That's selected. Well, yes, we, we, we're not going to spend half yes. an hour for our news on, on some yes, boring old thing. Yes, I know that because the, the, this uh, questioning is going on some, uh, sometimes eight to nine hours. Yeah. You know, we are questioning. Uh, if you pay us, we'll, when the time that we do, we're off no, air, that's in the night we can run it all again if that's, you want, but you've got to pay us. No, no, that's why the whole parliament accepted a solution, resolution to telecast in live mm. the whole the proceedings. Yes, but but uh, after that, unfair to put after one day, yeah. uh, I mean, after four, four, four and a half, four, five hours, the speaker was instructed by someone mm. to hold it. Really, the speaker was instructed, but speaker yes. is supposed to be supreme in parliament. Who who can this someone be? Yes, but, uh, but other than instructions, mm. that someone obstructed the channel by uh, in technical method, because uh, you know that. Uh, who could that have been? A person beyond uh, the speaker or the prime minister. Wow. Okay. Must have some technical knowledge. Uh, Nalini Dijati, sir, thank you very much for being on Newsline. But I do, really do hope that when you get to that select committee tomorrow, you will raise these questions. It's no good to people saying, you know, it was ABC. You need to be able to have a mechanism to check whether, in fact, it was A, B or C, or whether it was A, B and C. I, I asked I ask them not to, uh, I mean, inquire the, about the questions you can you can see the report you will submit in yeah, the next don't, three, three don't, weeks. don't get this wrong uh, dr nalin jati sir uh, we respect you for your uh, for your honesty but i'm afraid that i can't say the rest about That's about right. most of the 225 most of them there are good ones there always are in a basket of apples well, that's the way it was on Newsline this morning. Thank you for watching. Take care. And of course, stay safe and God bless. Thank you.